the Cairngorms National Park, where the work of generations of land managers sits alongside the UK's newest and biggest ecological restoration project, Cairngorms Connect. It's an epic and dramatic environment, with people at its heart. Home to high-quality farming alongside Britain's largest remnants of semi-natural woodland and some of the UK's highest mountains, the Cairngorms National Park is home to 18,000 people and welcomes 1.92 million visitors each year. Cairngorms Nature is a partnership of those with a shared vision to deliver the Cairngorms Nature Action Plan. A wealth of conservation work is currently being carried out by a huge mix of people all working towards a common goal. The Cairngorms Nature Action Plan focuses on delivering conservation across the National Park, working with habitats, species and people. Our three key pillars are landscape scale conservation, priority species management and involving people. We are now halfway through the current action plan and much has been achieved so far. My name's Edwin Third. I'm the River Operations Manager for the D District Salmon Fishery Board. We've got a couple of things that we really try to do to restore the rivers and one of the main things is, is plant trees to sow, to try and get that native woodland cover back on the river bank. I would say in the last six years we've done about 280,000 as our, our run in total. We do things like you see here, these large wood uh, structures to create a really good habitat in the river. We've got to do things that make a difference, and that means doing it at scale. I just can't stress enough that we couldn't do all this on our own. We need other people to come in and, and work with us, and that's been fantastic with what we've done so far. So we have to take people with us. I'm Peter Cosgrove, and I'm an ecologist, and I live and work in the Cairngorms. The thing I spent most of my time working on are freshwater pearl mussels. This species is globally threatened and the Cairngorms is one of the most important places left of the species in the world. Working on a species that crosses boundaries means that if a river catchment has pearl mussels in, you need to get everybody involved in its protection. The Cairngorms Nature Action Plan brings all sorts of partners together to work on that. I'm Genevieve Tompkins and I'm the Project Officer for the Rare Invertebrates and the Cairngorms Partnership Project. A really big part of my job really is to inspire the local community, our local landowners and just get people excited about the invertebrates that share the landscape these people live in with them. One of the most successful things has been the activity of the volunteers. So we've inspired the community around here to get on board with invertebrates and that's led to uh, just under a hundred volunteers taking part in surveys for these species, which is amazing. My name is Eileen Mathers. I'm an RSPB volunteer. I just think that I have got something to offer. I know that all the volunteer time is very helpful, so to be able to do a little bit to help the project seemed like a very easy thing for me to do. I was given very specific training and lots of information on what to do, and anybody can do it. <laughs> So our projects are on track, but none of them would be possible without land managers. With their help, opportunities will continue to be created going forward. I'm Jocasta Mann, and I'm the Communications Officer for the Cairngorms Capricaley Project. The Cairngorms Capricaley Project has already provided employment to people living in the National Park and around it. I think there's a lot of room for people with transferable skills to get involved in conservation. I guess I'm the perfect example of that. I'm Rory Watt, uh, I'm Highland Development Coordinator for Developing Mountain Biking in Scotland. This is a trail that's running through a Capricaley woodland. Mountain bikers who are, who are riding through here have an impact, but it's like managing that impact and it's not to say that people can't still go out and enjoy uh, outdoor recreation in Capricaley Forest. It's just helping people understand the landscape that they're in and how they can sort of help protect it as they pass through. We feel really strongly that we can all play our part in conservation. Cairngorms Nature is working together to take action to make the park richer in nature. We are working to understand species requirements, the issues we need to address and putting a proven set of management practices in place. We are encouraging and enabling people to engage with nature and reap the benefits of health and well-being. 
We are working together to take action to make the Cairngorms National Park richer in nature. For everyone, by everyone.